Hey everyone, I'm WRBL News 3's Elizabeth White and these are my children. Mason. Hi, I'm Avery. And we are so excited to be reading to you today as a part of Chattahoochee Valley Library's Summer Reading Program. This is one of my family's favorite books. It's called Room on the Broom. The author is Julia Donaldson. The illustrator is Axel Scheffler and it's published by Penguin Books. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in its jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, whoosh they, they were gone. gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from the tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said, as the witch tied the braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, whoosh! They were gone. They were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the birds shrieked with the glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet <laughs> wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch to the frog, bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they, were, they gone. were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down for the cat and the dog and the frog, down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and which with French fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon blew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eye and said, Just this once I'll have witch without fries. <laughs> Are you getting scared? Yeah. <laughs> But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred, and it had four frightful heads, and it had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. And it dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. Mmm. Mm. Very intense. The dragon drew back back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I have made a mistake. It's so nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and he was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Aww, she's thanking all of her new friends. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone and the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell, iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose 
a truly magnificent broom. With seeds for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. And that was Room on the Broom. We hope you enjoyed it. It certainly is one of our family's favorites, right guys? Yeah. All right, before we go, we want to remind you that all summer and spring long, the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, they are dedicated to keep you reading. So you can read books, attend virtual programs, and log your participation online for a chance to win weekly prize drawings. All ages are eligible and you can enter as often as you like. Each completion means another chance to win. So keep reading, right guys? Yeah. Yes. Have a great summer. Bye. Bye. Bye.